can call them out for you. I can call them out for you. I can call them out for you. But they wouldn't want me to do that. to come as a roaring lion. You see, you can see that coming. It's another thing to come as an angel of the light. You can see that coming. You can see, you can see it. This man coming is a man of peace. He's going to make a covenant. Confirm a covenant with many. For seven years, a covenant. But in the middle of that seven years, he will show his true colors. True colors. He will turn on Israel. I want you to know what he's going to do. This is it. His peace. His peace. He's going to. Right now, they are supposed to build their temple. But they can't build their temple because the Muslim mosque is on the spot where they're supposed to build their temple. And so that's why they're fighting one another. But this man is going to be so cunning that he's going to allow them to build their temple in spite of the Muslim mosque being there. And because he will do that, they will accept him as the Messiah. The same spot is where Jesus is supposed to come back at. So once he allows them to build their temple, they go, he says, you can sacrifice. All the sacrifices that you used to do in the past, you can do them now. You can have all the obligations that you did in the past, you can do them now. But, he will show his colors and stop all of that stuff. And then he will stand in the middle of the temple and proclaim himself to be God. He will stand there with a statue of himself and he will challenge the Prince of Princes. In other words, he will challenge Jesus Christ himself to a fight. Yeah, we know who's going to win. But guess what? Regardless of knowing the right way, we still do the wrong thing. This man knows he can't defeat God. Satan knows he's already defeated. But it's not going to stop him from challenging God. But many people are going to follow him. Yeah. Jesus said, I come in my father's name and you didn't want me. But there's going to be one that comes in his own name and you will follow him. And guess what? God will give you what you want. God will give you. How many of you know? How many of you know that God will, he will provide for you? God will give you what you want. But the Bible says that with all the sinfulness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved, that God will give you what you want. If you don't want God, He will give you what you want. If you don't want the peace of God, God will give you what you want. If you don't want his joy, God will give you what you want. If you don't want his love, he will give you. If you don't want me, there must be another that you want. I will give it. See, we've we, we, we been playing with Satan for too much. Too much. We've been thinking all of Satan did this and Satan did that. But guess what? If you reject salvation, salvation is forfeited. God will take that salvation that he has offered to you. You hear what I'm saying? Y'all didn't know that, did you? I'm going to prove it to you that I'm going to sit. To the right to you.
저희가 한번 있을까? 어, 그 사람은 그 사람은 그 사람은 그 사람은 그 